Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Subrata Som, the Group Head of Retail Banking for Mashrik Bank. And I'm today joined by Karthik Taneja, Head of Payments for Mashrik Bank. Hi, sir. Karthik, good morning and nice to have you here. Let me first ask you a little bit about last 12 months in the payment space in UAE. What are the, some of the key things that you are seeing? So it's been a really busy time in, in payments for us. Um, I'm going to talk about three things. Uh, number one, the rise of contactless and contactless payments have grown to the extent I think they've just zoomed up where more than one in two transactions is now happening on contactless right I think this has been accelerated by the pandemic the second thing and I think it's related is the rise of the pays so the pays have been here for a while but over the last 12 months um, Apple Pay Google Pay and Samsung Pay all three that Mastrek supports have grown at more than a hundred percent rate of growth. So they have really started to, to move up in consumer's mindset and you know the ability for customers to pay using any device, whether it's a phone or a watch. That's the second thing. So the third thing I want to talk about is the rise of QR code based payments, right? And we've just launched Clip, which is a multi-bank uh, partnership uh, called Emirates Digital Wallet with 15 banks. Uh, not many countries have been able to pull this off, but I'm really proud that you know we've launched it. And Mashrek being a big, big sponsor of this, we've opened up our acquiring side to it. And I, I'm happy to tell you that more than 3,000 locations now accept uh, Clip and thousands of customers have already started to use it. So it, it's really nice to see this uh, you know, take off. And there are others which are in the pipeline. I can't talk about them, but you know what I'm talking about. I think with all of this, what's happened is that domestic transfers have become almost frictionless and they've become cheaper and cheaper. But I don't think we can say the same about international transaction. So what do you think about that piece? No, Karthik, you're right. I think the domestic uh, payment schemes have become really both efficient and frictionless. In the international space, SWIFT and others are also transforming and we will see some benefits coming over time. Yeah. Uh, many fintechs have come up, but they essentially ride on the domestic schemes and hence are limited. Uh, but I'm glad to report that Mushrek has pioneered in this region with their fintech. Um, and our quick remit product, um, it gives customers an ability to remit payments and transactions up to 200,000 euro each transaction, almost instantaneously across 40 countries. That is an incredible capability. Wow. And that brings, and at a very convenient uh, way from the mobile phone or from your internet banking account. And it's very frictionless, uh, convenient, and low cost. So uh, Quick Remit is a big story. It's we are the only one in this region, and a lot of our customers have really used it, and we are very pleased to be here. So Karthik, if I shift from payments and uh, talk about credit cards, um, what are some of the credit card developments that have happened in this market and that are going to come in the near future? So, I've had the good fortune of working in you know, many different markets, but I must say UAE is one of the most competitive markets that I've seen. Um, and you know, at Mashrek, we've launched three new products this year. Uh, the first one being the Mashrek cashback card with 5% you know, unlimited cashback on dining and, and other benefits, which uh, our customers have shown a lot of love for. Um, the second one is our partnership with Noon. We've just launched the Noon co-branded card and the response to that has been absolutely stunning. I mean, I'm really happy with, with the kind of response we are seeing. But the third one is the one that I'm passionate about and that's our Emirati Solitaire card, which we have just launched. And it's still low key, but I think that is the best value proposition for Emiratis that exists in the market today. And I think it's also the most beautiful looking card. So that's on the card launch piece. But I think I would be remiss if I didn't talk about um, the other benefits that we've been adding. So uh, if you talk about cinema, which is very close to you know the heart of a lot of our customers, now we've, we've tied up with all the major chains. So, you know, Vox, Reel, all of them, we have a 50% discounted rate on Mushrek cards. The other thing that we've done and we are constantly expanding is, as you know, Salam points, you could already redeem it instantly at our merchant outlets, over 30,000 of them, which is unique, I, I think, for us. 
but one of the feedback was that why can't we do it with air miles so watch this space because pretty soon you'll be able to redeem your salam points for air miles instantly and on your mobile app so that's coming really soon so a lot of good stuff has happened i think we are customers are showing us love but i think one has to think about this year and say you know it's been tough for a for a fair few of our customers and so i want you to reflect on that and what they should expect in in you know the months and year to come thanks karthik i think uh, you know clearly 2020 has been a challenging year for the whole world um, all countries all economies um all customers and many customers so many of our customer card customers also have faced challenges in uh, 2020 um we saw in the beginning of the pandemic um the spends on card virtually crash but we also saw simultaneously increase in e-commerce spends around groceries and essential items but today as we speak uh, both the spends are back people are spending yeah we see e-commerce almost double the volume of what we did in the beginning of the year and growing continuously so there is optimism and there is spends are back i think dubai and ua has controlled the pandemic um, well and uh, while there is control and caution that has to always have to be observed i think economy trade and volume are opening up um, our consumers are also actively involved in trade and business and i think the in the upcoming festive season we all hope that it brings optimism and spends um to an unprecedented level of 2020 and we are all looking forward to that i like to wish um, our customers all the best for the festive season for good spending during that period and to use your mushrik card for the same thank you um i also wanted to mention that in this pandemic when uh, customers were stressed um uh, mushrik um, did offer a payment holiday and payment plans for many of our customers many of them had uh, uh, had utilized that and i hope it is of use to them we also reduce the interest rate by almost half um that is um, unique in the market yeah. um we are working and very soon we'll be coming out with what we call as spend and risk based pricing so as people spend more and as people pay more regularly we will have interest rate um, you know reduction or we'll have varying interest rate and that should be that should bring relief to our customers we are looking forward to the same um as i end uh, thank you karthik for being here with us for this uh, short chat we like to thank our customers for their business stay safe stay connected thank you thank you